My name is Rob Bell, and uh, I'm building a structure this year. It's a zone. Uh, this this uh, art piece is called Zonotopia, and uh, because it's a cluster of zones, we have two of them here this year. Uh, zone stands for zonohedral dome, and uh, a zonagon is is a, is a type of polygon where every edge length is the same, like a square. Except these, you can see there are different angles, but every edge length on this structure is exactly the same. And so that's what makes this a zonohedral dome. It's different than the geodesic domes that you see everywhere here. And so, but this one is also made of wood, and I am using only wood for the fastening system. Everything slots together, kind of like a giant toy. Um, you want to make sure that these squares line up when you put the two things together. Yeah. But basically, one goes in the bottom, and then one goes in the top, and then they sandwich. But you got to do all it. eight okay. at the same time. That's the tricky thing. Yes. You do all eight at the same time. And so you kind of lay, like, make a star, and then you, uh, and then you stick the thing in. And so, yeah, the modular pieces, they're all, like, identical? Or? They're not identical. The, the system is identical. But the angles change as you go up. Right. And so, but every level, there's a lot of great properties of zones that you don't see in geodesic domes, you know. The distance between every level of vertexes is the same as you go up. So it kind of makes it easier to build, easier to think about, you know, if you're planning something that you're going to do inside, something else you're going to build. Like, there are going to be nine benches in here, three benches in between each door, and people can come in and sit down and nice. just look out. And what was the inspiration for the piece? Did it start with a drawing or a...? It's, it's, it's the inspiration is the beauty of the structure. Uh -huh. And uh, having seen that in a virtual form and then wanting to realize it in a real So where did you see it in a virtual form? Um, just, uh, you know, looking around at different... You start by reading about Buckminster Fuller and Geodesic right. Domes, and then you can you go a little bit further and think about why did Geodesic Domes fail? And what was there? What are their faults? And then, is there anything else that is sort of like a middle ground between a geodesic dome and what actually works? Yeah. And that's what this is. Cool. And have you done them before? Well, I did this one last year, uh -huh. and uh, and it was very successful. And I have done a greenhouse in Berkeley, um, which is built and it's being and used. Um, I did a structure. It was an art piece in a garden in Georgia. Um, so there's been a few. It's not yeah. my first. It's my fifth. <laughs> nice. Cool. And then um, you fabricate it with a jigsaw? or No, that would be painful. Yeah. I fabricate it with a CNC router. Yeah. Shot bot CNC. Oh, wow. CNC router. Yes. So you design everything in the computer. Yeah. You sketch up uh -huh. and uh, export the, the parts that I want, and the machine cuts them out. And uh, there's still a fair amount of work to do. Yeah. But... Um, it, it gets the bulk to, of it, it of the it measuring out. done. Yeah, it does something. It lets you do things that you that you um, that you wouldn't do otherwise, because it would just be too tedious. Cool. Yeah, it's beautiful. Thank you. Yeah. Well, come back when it's done. Yeah, I will. So, awesome. Does it have any lighting? Yeah, we're actually. This is uh, luminescent black light paint. Oh. And we're installing black lights, and so at night, um, it should be interesting. Cool. Great. Thanks so much, Rob. Yeah, That's yeah. awesome. Thank you all. Thank <laughs> you. Yeah, thanks. Well, you guys got to work together. Well, they're going to, yeah. They're going to see where this thing flies. Up, up, up. Should I Yeah, yeah. So, you guys, how do you decide where to go? Patricia, that's a good I have a nice one. Dan, remember last year we said. Oh, okay. We don't want to do that. Can I? 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 Can Go ahead and fetch another person and another Some, uh, One more person, please. Preferably Anyone? tall. Yeah. Tall? Yeah. Yeah, this is... Okay, let's get three points of contact. Well, four. Four. Yeah, four people. So it goes quite up in yeah. here, right? It just goes anywhere. You guys can just touch it over there. Yeah. This is like a... Work together. Yeah. Just cheese and onion.
That's fine. We got four points of contact. You guys are going to get close together. Make sure you stay balanced. Yeah, basically just keep it balanced. And I'm, I'm just, I'm going to kind of guide it up, 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 up a little bit more. All right. All right, can you, can you turn yours right? <laughs> yeah, well, this is why I, this is, oh, that, that's, I mean, part of the reason why I'm okay. Okay, down, down a little bit. Down. Actually, no, I'm sorry. Let's go, let's go up. You guys are pretty much, can you lift your arms a little higher? Stay there, keep it, keep it tight. And they lose your feet up. They're committed now. Yes, you are. Well, you just gotta do two, of these, two more of these and you're all good. That's classy. Um, do we have to get off the high here to the toes over here? Okay, keep holding it. Hi kids, it is. Hi kids, it is, folks. Hi. 